Welcome to my class. It's the about the SOS free the SOS free um, raw vegan lifestyle. My name is Eve Zeiler, and I work at the True North House Foundation. Usually, good morning. Do you want to come in? No, I'm just oh, okay. I'm so sorry. No worries. Hopefully, the live stream is working. Hello, everyone. Um, and today we are having a bunch of vegetables again. And I'm going to make refried beans, guacamole, and a hot sauce. And we're gonna eat it with like chips or so. But we only have vegetables. We don't have, have actually beans or we don't have a pan with oil or anything. But it kind of will look like refried beans. <laughs> so are you raw vegan all, all 100%? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, so I do it like since five years. So what we have today is um, celery is always what I usually have in my fridge. Celery is like you can put it pretty much anywhere. And then we have zucchini, a carrot, broccoli, herbs, fresh herbs. I always like to use fresh herbs, but if you prefer your favorite dried spices, then you're free to put it anywhere, really. And then red bell pepper is always really good. Some scallions, um, some ac acidity, like. Um, citrus, or maybe you want to use vinegar instead. I don't, well, I rarely use vinegar, and if I use the apple cider vinegar, it's raw fermented. And then maybe cauliflower. I haven't found any. Um, I was gonna do the refried beans with carrots and broccoli, but you might also use um, cauliflower because it's kind of similar, like the broccoli, it's just a different color. And then tomatoes and some more vegetables. Hey, Kama. That's the, the cubes that you usually have there in the, that's how it looks. It's just a big root. And then we have a mango for the spicy, sweet spicy sauce. Okay, um, let's just start with the refried beans. I mean, it's a way to, because this is really tough. I mean, the body doesn't care, it would also just, if you don't want to prepare your food, this is all edible already. This is not, you don't have to cook anything, like rice, for example. Um, rice you need to cook to make it edible, but this is all edible by itself already. So if you go on a trip and you don't, you don't find the right restaurant, you just can just go to a grocery store and you find all this, it's already edible. So that's how I travel, I just buy um, whole foods and I'll just eat it like that. I'll, I'll, even eat this like that. I mean, I'm just biting in, in it <laughs> while I'm driving or, you know, it's very convenient to eat. But, um, but it takes a little bit longer. So you, it's a lot of chewing. So, and if you don't have a lot of time, we just use our machines that chew it for us pretty much. And uh, that way you can get large amounts of vegetables in a shorter time. So that's why we like to process. Also, we are used to eating processed foods. So, um, yeah, that's what we do. So this would probably take me an hour to eat, maybe. But if I blend it up, it will just be much quicker. So the broccoli, I use the whole thing of the broccoli, actually. So I use the pound, that's for sure. And then also the stem, but the outer part of the stem is kind of chewy and I'm not going to blend it and make it edible. Anything that I can eat in its natural form, I'm not going to blend and so make it, to make it edible. So I'm just going to discard it, but the inner core is pretty tasty. So I'm just cutting the edges and then I'll just, because this is pretty stable like this, so i just cut around it with a knife. Just find a stable stand here. And yeah, the outer peel of the broccoli is pretty tough to eat. 
But this is really tasty. It's really soft. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. And I'll discard this. What is it? I just came in. Oh, this is um, broccoli? Broccoli. Sure. And then you refried fried beans. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, we're going to make three fried beans. The okay. first ingredient is broccoli. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll use everything of the broccoli, also the stem, but I cut away the, the tough parts, the outer peel of Thank it. You. Thank you. Because it's really tough to eat. And I also don't want to blend anything that's too tough. You know, it's not going to make it more digestible. So um, broccoli, um, maybe I'll put some more of this cauliflower because it didn't have enough uh, broccoli, so I'll just use cauliflower. It has the same texture kind of, but the color is a little different, but it doesn't really matter. And then the carrot. I use carrot. I, I just made it this weekend because we wanted to eat um, cauliflower and broccoli a little bit faster. But then I just blended it. And you can also make a smoothie out of it, but smoothies, I, I don't really like smoothies. I like to eat my food. So this is kind of like a smoothie, but it's not, it's not really, it's like a puree. And then um, some lemon juice. Lemon juice always goes well. And actually also the, the celery. Celery I really put in anything. I had here four stems of celery, but it doesn't really matter how much you put in, <coughs> more or less. The vegetables always taste different, so I don't really measure anything, because it's all, always going to be different anyway. And if you use good ingredients, then usually it should be tasty. Some lemon juice. Lemon juice um, gives a really nice flavor if you don't use any salt. Um, yeah, if you don't use any salt, then you can replace the salt, the, the taste, either with acidity or with um, sweetness. Or with both. Sweet. Lots of sweetness. Yes. Huh? When you do sweetness, what's that? Uh, like dates or a mango. I have a mango today. Nice. Some kind of fruit or raisins. There was a little, a small lemon. Um, and then some kind of spices. Um, like for um, refried bean spice, it's probably like um, a little bit more onion meat too. So I'm using a little bit of green onions here, and then I don't have a lot of green onions. And I have some garlic grass. Mm -hmm. So I don't usually eat the garlic bulb, mm -hmm. but I planted the garlic, and you can do it anywhere. You just need a little pot, and then you put it in the soil, and it'll grow like immediately. And this tastes like garlic, but it's much more milder than garlic. You don't eat clove garlic? This is too strong. Clove garlic. You don't eat the cloves. Oh, the cloves. No, not, 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 it's not yeah, it's strong. not strong. And then you need a, a high-speed blender or any kind of blender, but you need a, a temper because it doesn't have any water. It'll be like more like a puree. And then we try to blend it up. It'll be a little bit loud, so you have to eat. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. we are used to it, huh, from the jackhammer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah this is nothing.
with the guacamole first because this has the celery anyway. So, but it's fine. So I have here like three stalks of celery. And it doesn't make it less creamy, it just makes um, more volume for the guacamole and less fat, less percentage of fat if you're concerned about your weight. Or, but I mean, even if you're not concerned about your weight and you would eat it without it, you can just eat more and you'd feel fuller. Can you, can you add broccoli? Broccoli to this? To, well, you can try it. Yeah. You can try it. It will be different in taste because broccoli has its uh, own taste. Okay. Um, what I could think of, maybe you could put a red bell pepper or something like that in it too for flavor. But I think I need, I need to use it for my sauce. Um, yeah, and then you just cut the... <coughs> and I didn't pre pre-prepare anything here before I got here. So you see all the, the whole foods as you would get in the store. So you actually can see it. It doesn't take long to prepare your food. You know. Careful with the seed. I don't know, you can also um, quarter them and that's, that's uh, more, more safer to get out the, the seat. This is a good avocado. You know, everyone is looking. We not we don't get usually avocado here, huh? Or guacamole. <laughs> Just using two avocados here, that's a little bit of color. Sometimes you have a bad avocado and then don't use the, the dark spots that can be really not so tasty. Just try it. The dark spot tastes good, but if not, don't, don't use it. Yeah, sometimes it's just a bruise, the dark spot, but sometimes it's like spoiled. So that doesn't taste good. Yeah, if you have the avocado, I just use a regular fork. If you have a bigger batch, you might also use a, a potato masher for it. But if you just have two avocados and they are really ripe and nice, then you get, can just use a fork. Way of eating because it's, it's all feels really clean, you know. 
No, that's why we here we are water fasting and then because we wanna clean out, you know. And this this food cleans you out, cleanses you out every day. Because all the the fiber I don't cook my food because the, the fiber is um, different after cooking, but I mean it's not it's not bad but I just don't prefer it. But you just you were vegan first? Not really. Well, a little bit. A little bit. I have just maybe four months. Um, or mostly vegan. Sometimes I would eat meat, just I thought, um, for the B12. But that's actually a myth. I mean, every farm animal gets B12 supplements. Really, every farm animal gets supplements. Vitamin D supplements, like any kind of supplement. They all get it, like organic uh, animals. Oh, it doesn't doesn't really matter if organic or not. Did you say every farmer? Farm animals. Farm animals. Yeah, the animals that people eat, and um, because people say you have to eat meat because of B12, but if every farm animal gets B12 supplements, I don't really see a point to eat the animals and eat the supplements through the animal. I mean, B12 is in dirt. So you might as well just eat dirt. <laughs> put the line in here. But you said you do supplement with B12. I don't, but I don't it's, know. No, it's up to you though. I mean, I tried it. I didn't really feel better, and I don't, I don't really have any symptoms. Sometimes it's easier to use a spoon and to juice your citrus. You can do it with the, the lime. They don't have any seeds, so. I'm gonna do this little one here too. just from a cutting. Yeah, that could be um, already finished guacamole, but I'm just gonna blend the celery here and mix it in. I never did it with a, um, with a blender. I usually use my food processor and then chop it really fine and edit. But let's, let's try this out. liquid here but I don't think it's doesn't really matter. Probably gives more flavor even. Yeah. Pretty liquid but I think it'll be still okay. Just pour it in here. Yeah if you do it with the food processor it'll be more uh, firm like it was really um, fine and chopped but you don't really feel it in the in the actual guacamole you won't feel it. So you eat raw only? Mm-hmm. So I'm just mixing it in. It kind of looks like another avocado. So you, need, you don't eat potatoes or anything like that? Hmm? You don't eat potatoes? Or? No. I eat sweet potatoes sometimes. Potatoes are edible raw, but they just don't taste good. They're not toxic or anything, and they're just very, very starchy. Okay, that's the guacamole, a little bit um, mixed with, with celery, mm. but you don't really yeah. see it. Like. And then we're gonna make the hot sauce. We still have some uh, residue here. From other food. Yeah, it smells kind of good, huh? Mm -hmm. it smells like 
beans, doesn't it? I mean, if I, it looks like beans, red fried beans, it smells like it, maybe it tastes like it. <laughs> and just messing with your brain too, you know, you see something that, that looks like, like it, you just, you just uh, your brain just makes you feel like it tastes exactly like that. <laughs> but maybe not. Um, yeah, let's, let's make the hot, sweet, spicy sauce. And um, I use red bell pepper. If you make a sauce and you want to have it red, then you need to use red bell pepper. So I just cut right at the at the stem, and then I do the do that with the other half as well. Cayenne powder is also good. Hmm. Cayenne powder. You can use cayenne powder too. I like to use fresh or whole things, but it's really up to you. And then I just spoon it out like an avocado. Sometimes the um, the mango is not really really soft, then it might be hard to do that. You might want to use then a potato peeler and peel it first, but usually it should be a little bit soft because then it, that gives the sweetness and everything. But sometimes you buy an avocado that's never softened, so that can happen too. I would never eat it as a dessert. I would just use it in my sauces. <laughs> If the mango doesn't taste good, then you better make sauce with it. <laughs> Do you use, um, if you're pinched, fro frozen mango, or do you try not to? Um, I try not to use a lot of frozen vegetables or fruits. I feel like it doesn't, it does upset my stomach a little bit. I think the enzymes are not that active anymore when you freeze. Okay. And the enzymes in the raw food, that helps you digest, really. How long does this um, um, chili hot pepper sauce keep? Probably like three days or more. Like cooked food too. I mean, I wouldn't keep cooked food much longer. Um, so what I do with the, 
the seed part, just peel the um, the peel off, peel the peel, <laughs> the skin off, peel the skin off, and it should be pretty easy if the mango is ripe enough. Hi. Hi. And then you can either just eat it like that, or you can also use the knife and cut around it. this mango is sweet or is it a little bit sour. I'm just going to do a taste test. You can also use dates for your sauce instead of mango. That's pretty good too. I'm going to do a taste test here of this mango. It's pretty sweet, so maybe Maybe just half of the mango, it's really good. It gives some acidity too to the sauce, so um, that might also, I mean, sometimes I use a little bit of lemon juice in my sauces too, but maybe we don't need it. I put a tomato in it too, why not? Tomato. Celery really goes in anything. Celery is really my staple for anything. I think I would always have celery in the fridge. Do you look for organic celery? Mm -hmm. Yeah, organic in anything except for avocados, I think that's fine. Um, but everything that doesn't have a peel, although bananas I also like to have organic or um, especially oranges or citrus, that needs to be organic. They treat the, the, the peel with chemicals and then for oranges you peel it and then you, you know how this all spreads out in the air, all the essential oils and then you have the chemicals too in the, in the air. So I would, also it goes in the fruit as well. I wouldn't, I watermelon doesn't have to be organic, it doesn't go through the chemicals. Watermelon? Oh, and maybe they don't really treat it too much because it's, it has a tough peel already, so um, it doesn't spoil that easily. Okay, let's try this sauce. I think I put everything in that I wanted. But yeah, you can adjust that sauce however you want. I mean, you can use maybe a yellow bell pepper or more tomatoes, um, add a date. Um, don't do it um, sour, do it more um, like tomati, uh, to, to, tomato like, or only red bell peppers without sweetness. Like, you can do anything really. The red color always comes from the red, red bell peppers. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's mix this up.
it doesn't fit all in here. Um, it's pretty liquid, but the, the mango sometimes will thicken it up a little bit. Or you can also add chia seeds and flax seeds here too. And for use nuts for fat content. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You could use that too. Today it's all seed seedless or nut free here, actually, right? Yeah. Well, we don't have any nuts and seeds here. Good. But we have quite a few calories here with the avocado. <laughs> Here. Um, yeah, but how do we eat it? You can eat it with, you can pretty much eat it with anything. You can make yourself um, cauliflower rice or something like that. Um, or you can make some chips. You can use um, just that, it's already done. The chips, like just lettuce, pieces of lettuce as chips, and then put your guacamole or your fried beans and the, the hot sauce on it. What kind of chips? Those are um, lettuce. butter lettuce chips. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever use the dehydrator? I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I make crackers too with a dehydrator. Maybe I'll do a demo on that too one day. And then you can have like crackers from celery. Like this? Or do you dehydrate those the lettuce to make chips? No, I don't dehydrate lettuce usually. Um, I usually blend the vegetables, like carrots and broccoli is pretty good too, what, what or do you, cauliflower. What do, you, what do you dehydrate? The crackers. The, so I blend the, some vegetables and I mix it with flax seeds and then I pour, pour it on a sheet and that's what I dehydrate. And it becomes crackers. Mm -hmm. How long? Overnight. You have to flip it too, but that's a that's a different topic. But maybe you will do a topic on that one day. Um, yeah, when I do the the bread, I also experimented recently with um, making crackers um, out of a mixture that had sprouted lentils, which was really good actually. Mm -hmm. And then I make the mixture, but you can also eat the mixture. You can eat the mixture, or you can like a hummus kind of thing, or you can dry it then. So maybe maybe do a class on that one day, but now it's all fresh. I don't really like to eat too many dried foods and I all basically only do it for for friends or people that, or when I travel, that's pretty convenient then too. Um, I like to eat fresh because it has the hydration and all the, the life energy, like optimal raw. So um, we have some, the lettuce chip, the celery chips, and we can make some zucchini bread here out of the zucchini. The meat fried beans, I can dehydrate, for example, make crackers from? Um, yeah. You can add some uh, flax seeds. Yes, amazing. And then make the crackers. Yeah. That's really good. I mean, um, I like to add broccoli and cauliflower to crackers and carrots and celery, so we have it all in there, yes. and then some... And what number? 110? Hmm? 110 should be the dehydrate number? Oh, yeah. Well, I do... I think I do 120 because it, the food doesn't heat up up to 120. It's just the... It doesn't um, heat it up too much. Thank you. So, just the setting, it depends. If the, the air temperature is 120, doesn't mean that the food is 120. It will be a little bit lower. Do you use ground flax or just regular flax seeds? Uh, regular flax seeds. And seeds. I usually would soak them in water and then blend them. Okay. Um, because the, I mean, the, the fat gets rancid pretty quick. And you can grind them up really quick with a blender if you have a blender. So I like to have it fresh. The zucchini, I'm just going to half it and then I'll have a stable stand here on my cutting board and then I just cut. Um, red slices. It tastes better than any kind of bread, honestly. <laughs> it's all only about uh, about the the topping, you know. Oops. So it's cute that you think that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll 
laughing now, but you try it. Oh, I will. No, it's, it's still as funny. I don't think there's any question that I'll be good, but the comparison between that and a piece of bread right now. Yeah, I'm not nice. quite there. You're yeah, the right here. Bread. Zucchini bread. And then I also have this jicama, this little jicama. We usually have that in cubes there, but we can also make like little slices too. Is there any food value to jicama? Hmm? Is hicam, does jicama have any nutritional value? Oh yeah. Yeah. It has really beneficial fiber too. I mean, sometimes it's only about the fiber really. Because the fiber feeds your microbiome. And the microbiome makes vitamins. You know, you want to keep your, your bacteria healthy. I, I wonder if we, if we digest our food at all, or is it just the bacteria digesting our food, and then they give us nutrients. Really. So you, you want to make your bacteria happy in your gut. And this has really good um, resistant starch, I think. Um, so that's really beneficial for your gut microbe, and it has minerals too, I think. I have to look it up again, but. About the flax, we said earlier that the ground gets rancid quite. It could get rancid, yeah. And then in the store, you don't know how old it is too, and it's really easy to ground it up yourself. I mean, I'm not saying it always is rancid, but it could. Oops. So when I ground and I keep mine in the fridge. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I grind it and then for later and I'll keep it in the fridge, yeah. So I'm just gonna peel this jicama real quick. And the jicama you're eating raw. Oh yeah. We have it here. We have it here too, the cubes. Oh, okay. Do you usually, <laughs> you cook the jicama? I've never even doubled the jicama. Oh, I gotta study that. I don't think you can cook it, no Can yeah. you? You can cook anything, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't think it tastes this. I asked Dr. Red. Um, huh, I don't know. I never had it cooked. I asked if they can steam. They said it's not made for steam. Oh, okay. Well, it, the texture is like an apple, but it's not sweet. That's how I would describe it. It's a little bit starchy, but not too starchy. Really juicy, though. It is also, yeah, juicy like an apple, pretty much. This one is 
really small, but the jicama usually comes like like a big bowl too. But if you have like thin slices, you can use it as like a taco. Yeah. 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 But maybe I'll what you put in your taco, probably just lettuce. Anything oh, like this. Oh, beans, yeah. Or I make also taco meat sometimes. And, um, but let's just slice it maybe with a knife. Make like uh, jicama bread. Durian, but I never find a good quality durian. It's usually frozen, and a jackfruit is the next thing. Jackfruit, just simple. I like to eat simple. If I could choose what I'm gonna eat, it's not gonna be a prepared dish. It's, it'll be like a really high quality ripe fruit, like a jackfruit. Or what's durian? Durian. It's a tropical fruit. It's um. People say it's stinky, yeah. but it actually smells good. How do you spell it? U-R-I-A-N. No, it doesn't grow here. It grows in Florida, though. It's mm similar -hmm. It's really expensive, so I don't really have it, but I also like uh, jackfruit. I would eat the right jackfruit, not the unripe one. So good. You make the most divine salads that you come into the dining room and eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, every day. Pretty Fabulous. Pretty much every day. So I'm not, I'm not going hungry in my bed. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not hungry. I'm really, really full and satisfied. So I think that's the most important on this diet, that you don't restrict your diet. You just eat whatever you really want to eat and how much you want to eat. Um, I don't really overeat on nuts and seeds too much because it, it makes me full like quite um, early, so I just feel it, it's really heavy. But yeah, anything. I like to eat really fresh things like lots of lettuce and vegetables. If I don't have time to eat my vegetables, I just blend it like in a puree. And yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna try it for you here and then you can try it. Just be the first person to try it. You can also do like a little, like a bread on some lettuce, like a sandwich. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. make a sandwich like this. Um, well, the refried beans don't really fit, but maybe you can put this on top and maybe some hot sauce. Let's see if the hot sauce can kind of thicken up a little bit, but not too much. Put this on top. And then, yeah, this is pretty much like my my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> I haven't well, tried that. Can you freeze all of those? No, not all Oh, what? Can you freeze that, the red sauce? Mm, I'm not sure about it. Why but you see how easy it is, you know? So in your own bag, you don't have much starch? Not a lot. Well, this has kind of carrots. I put carrots in here. Let's try this here, maybe. There you go. Oh. Well, if you really try to think about it, maybe it's like refried beans. <laughs> I eat fruits for my first meal and then I eat salad and greens. But it might look like refried beans, but I mean, you tell me how it tastes. <laughs> so if you want to try anything, this isn't spicy enough either, so. This could be a little bit more spicy too. And what would you do to make it spicier? Just a hot pepper? Yeah, more hot pepper. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you want to try something, um, Oh, you can you can take a, a bowl, anything. You want to try it? Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. Thank you.